Well, I am here to take a first look at Samsung's latest 98 inch huge TV. This is the QN90D Neo QLED Smart TV. It's a 4K model, so let's check it out. Samsung actually has three different models in its 98 inch range now for 2024 because it is a popular category. Um, that includes the QN90D, which is the top of the range. Then you have the Q80C, which is a little bit sort of more mid range and it uses something called a direct full array backlight, but it's still a QLED model. And then dropping down beneath that, you have the DU9000, Crystal UHD TV, and that doesn't have that technology, but it is a good entry level price and obviously a massive screen size. Being a top of the range 98 inch TV, this one actually uses something called 4K quantum matrix technology. And really that's Samsung's name for an amalgamation of screen technologies all working together to create a great picture. Because the thing about a 98 inch TV is that it will really show off screen imperfections just because it's so huge. So first up, this is a mini LED TV. So that just basically means that the backlights or the things that kind of give the screen its, its light are very, very small. They're actually about 1 40th the size of normal LEDs on say a mid-range TV like the 98 inch Q80C. So this gives it more precise control over where light is. It's almost like a mask that kind of surrounds areas that should be light, leaving dark areas dark. On top of that, this is a 200 hertz panel and that's all about motion smoothness. So if you're watching sport, 200 hertz is definitely fast enough to keep the action looking smooth. I really like that this is a Pantone certified panel and we're seeing this across a lot of other Samsung TVs as well. So this means that it can correctly express about 2030 Pantone colors and 110 of those are actually skin tones. So really that just means that the skin tones are more accurate than ever before, at least in 2023 and earlier models. And for the techie ones out there, the actual brain or processor inside this is the NQ4 AI Gen 2. So NQ stands for Neo QLED, 4 stands for 4K, obviously AI is AI, and Gen 2 is the latest version of this. So this is about twice as powerful as the one in the model beforehand. So just in case, now you know. Yeah, I think we'd all love a bigger TV, but is 98 inch right for your room? And how do you even know? Well, first off, you need to be sitting a minimum of three meters away from the screen. Otherwise, the closer you get, maybe the more pixelated it gets, but more importantly, you end up looking up and around too much and not taking it all in in one view. So if you're three meters away or more, then you get a 40 degree viewing angle, which is sort of what you'd get when you're at a cinema sitting right in the center. So it's the same kind of viewing angle as that. Also, in terms of size, this is about 1.3 meters high and about two meters wide across it. So keep that in mind too. You'll need to fit it into your space. And with traditional aspect ratios where you lose the top and the bottom of the screens and those black bars go there, at least the picture is so huge to begin with, it's actually not getting cut down as much as it would say on a 65 inch TV. So it's not a bad looking TV on the outside either, not just the screen itself. It uses Samsung's Neo Slim design language. Uh, it's got very slim bezels here, and also it's only 31 millimeters thick, which is good for wall mounting. And I'm pretty impressed with that given that it's a massive 98 inch panel. Uh, in terms of color, there's some sort of like a carbon silver sort of style here. And then there's something called Eclipse Silver for the stand itself. It's a center stand, which is good for any size of sort of entertainment console fitting it on there too. So yeah, it's an attractive looking TV and the bezels are kept to a minimum. So AI is definitely a buzzword and you'll certainly hear it applied to the QN90D. So this actually can upscale now using generative AI to effectively add in detail or kind of draw in things that weren't there before. So it draws from the power of 20 neural nets, which are kind of are training around certain identifiable objects, uh, like certain shapes, or maybe even things like a, a footy ball or that type of thing. And it will use those to upscale from standard definition to 4K definition. And by doing so, it will reduce noise, you'll get smoother edges, sort of better looking images, contrast and sharpness. This actually gets a special supersized AI technology just for 98 inch TVs because it really has to stretch the picture so much. So there's uh, something that's actually unique to this particular model and you won't get that in smaller panel sizes. 
Well, the QN90D has some pretty cool gaming features, and imagine playing games on this massive 98 inch screen. Okay, so first is actually a 144 hertz panel, which is fantastic for PC gaming as well as console gaming. So you're getting lots of nice smooth frame rates there. Uh, secondly, it uses AI now. So AI can actually read the gaming title on the screen and then make the most appropriate settings for that particular game. And it can also figure out the game type too. So you actually are optimizing your settings without actually having to do anything. From a cloud gaming point of view, you have your you know, Xbox Game Pass, you got your GeForce now, so you don't need to buy a high-end gaming console to play lots of games. You just have to have a subscription, so that's great to see it supported. If you want to bring your Xbox or PlayStation Bluetooth controllers, they're all definitely supported, as well as third-party Bluetooth controllers as well. And now you can even get Spotify playing in the background, uh, so you can actually play your games and listen to your favorite tracks too, which I think is really cool. I also like the Game Bar, which pops up over your game that you're playing and it gives you at a glance information about things like your frame rate, whether a variable refresh rate is on, low latency mode, and that type of thing. So I think the only problem with the gaming features on this TV is you may not end up being an empty nester because your adult kids are probably never gonna wanna leave home playing on this thing. Well, the sound is surprisingly good from the TV's actual speakers. There are eight of them. There are a total of 60 watts and you have up firing, side firing, and down firing because they support Dolby Atmos. You also get cool features like Q Symphony and that's where the TV speakers work in conjunction with the soundbar speakers, but more on that later. And there's object tracking sound, which is great for a screen of this size. And that's where the speakers make it feel like the sound is tracking the subject that's moving across the screen. It's pretty cool tech, but the most advanced tech is Adaptive Sound Pro. Now, this uses AI to basically remaster the sound you're listening to on the fly to suit the room that you're listening in as well as the actual content type that you're listening to. So for example, it can analyze the sound and kind of pick out the vocals and separate them and then enhance the levels for the vocals so they're not overpowered by say the explosions in the movie or something like that. Also, if you're listening in a loud environment, it can make sure that it adjusts the sound so you can hear it better as well as the shape of your room too. So very cool tech. So in terms of sound bars, this little thing is small but fierce. This is actually the Q930D. So it's smaller than the Q990D, but it actually still comes with a subwoofer and two rear speakers. The only difference with the rears is that there's no side firing speakers, but otherwise this is a 9.1.4 Dolby Atmos system. It's a wireless system, meaning that it can communicate with the TV without wires and still transfer Dolby Atmos signals. Sounds really good. Uh, definitely like the compact size and it has lots of cool features too. And this one costs 1599, so keep that in mind. All right, the all important picture quality. What do we think of this 4K massive screen? First off, because it's 4K resolution and the panel is so big, I was curious about whether anything looked a bit pixelated, but really it does look nice and smooth, especially if you're sitting at least three meters away. In terms of brightness, look, it is a bright panel because it's so big, uh, so we are getting some nice realism in those brighter parts of the screen. And because of the mini LED technology, we're really seeing good contrast and the blacks are staying nice and black. Look, they're not perfectly black like an OLED screen, but they are pretty good as well for this type of display. Color-wise, yep, the Pantone certification is great, uh, but also because of that quantum dot technology, colors are vibrant. I do like the tones and colors that I'm seeing, but where this really comes into its own is its ability to show detail in the darker scenes, and I think that the QN90D does a good job of that as well. There's a feature called Real Depth Enhancer Pro, and what this does is it uses AI to try to separate the foreground action from the background, and that makes sort of the subject really pop. And I did see this on here, and I think that actually it does a nice job of almost creating a bit of a depth effect. So that's a pretty cool one to have as well. So this is a big panel and it's also quite reflective. There haven't been any sort of special uh, anti-reflective coatings put on this one. So you will see a little bit of a mirror, especially when the TV is turned off. Plus my lighting guy didn't do a great job at hiding the lights, but otherwise, look, it's not too bad, but there's nothing really special going on here. That 200 Hertz panel handled motion really well. Fast action, gaming, and sports look great there too. In terms of using the TV, there have been some improvements to the Smart Hub, sort of a Tizen-based operating system. There's now a Discover 
live and apps sort of filters at the top so you can see live television quickly or app-based streaming television and that type of thing. Uh, otherwise it will um, have multiple user accounts so different people in the house can have their own sort of recommendations and favorites shown. So it's pretty easy to use otherwise but only some small tweaks overall. Look, overall, I was super impressed by the 2024 QN90D. I think 98 inch is a really exciting size. It suits some households, obviously not perfect for every household, but it really does open up that immersion and really give you that sort of realism and punch that a TV of this size can only deliver. Look, otherwise, this isn't the cheapest TV, of course. It is $13,999 in Australia. I'll put the US prices up as well. But look, that's what I think of this TV. Let us know what you think in the comments. I mean, do you think AI is just a gimmick or are TVs really becoming small computers these days with giant screens? I'd love to know your thoughts. We've also reviewed Samsung's mid-priced 98-inch TV. That's the Q80C, so check out our video there, as well as the beautiful new 77-inch OLED Q95D and, of course, the top-of-the-range 8K Q900D. So be sure to check out those videos. Otherwise, I'm Val Quinn. Give us a like and a subscribe and I will catch you in the next one.